So in doing a search for my own name, Jose Meyer, I follow all the results that I find that are genealogical in nature. Here's one of Jose Meyer from the 1940 census. And you can see they say he's born in around 1877. I happened upon this quite by accident while searching for Jose Meyer and trying to do research into my own name. You can see Ancestry.com wants you to sign up and to be able to see the census. I don't really need that. So I know this guy from other research I've done. He's in uh, Kern County, or was in Kern County years ago. I happened upon this in one of my other searches, and this is a book from 1914, The History of Kern County, and you can see Jose Meyer is one of the residents of note, and that he was born March 19th, 1876, and uh, was a sheep farmer, and I guess very successful. And it's just interesting when you start researching your name, and in my case it's Jose Meyer, but I'm also looking into the origins of the of the name Meyer or Mier. So the internet is great. Just type in your own name and you'll find hundreds of other people living and not living and um, with with your own name so we've already seen the ancestry.com um, there are other sites some of them are my own that show up now in searches for Jose Meyer um, things like this uh, this is another ancestry thing listing different Jose Meyers around the world um, so that's my site, but you can also see some of the others. And again, in my research, um, and this is a blog article on my website, um, and I talk about my theory that the the name Meyer came from the uh, from Spain, from the Roman Empire, um, and and comes from is a Latin derivation. And, and when the Spanish moved into the New World, um, the, a lot of other Myers happened to be in, in Mexico. So it's just a very interesting thing. And then when I found that article on um, Jose Meyer in Kern County and that he had come from Spain in the same region, that was, uh, that was amazing. An amazing coincidence, but not really if you think about it.